Okay, time for another video with Matthew Miller in the HTC Touch Diamond. I've had some people ask about the phone application and also text input methods. So here is the default phone application. So you could uh, see on the dial pad there. Um, if I was to scroll up, I'll see my contact list, which I won't show you all my contacts. And let's see at the menu. Video call, open contact, call history. I'll show that in a second. Speed dial, save to notes, send a text message, company directory, options, view, and video call options. First, I'll go to video call options. I, this is not supported in the US, but does have a forward facing camera. And if you're in Europe or other countries that supports this, here's what you'd see uh, show a still image um, or video conference, both parties, video small or large. Flip the second video camera. There's some different settings you can see here. Quite a few settings. There's some services and about. But we don't get to play with that here in the US, so I can't get into depth on that. And if I was to go here and look at my call history, you can see that there's uh, my call history. And as you can see here, there's also some notes because when those calls are made, I pull the stylus out. And if I do that, it creates a little note. I showed that on the, uh, on the last one when I called, so let me go to the phone application again. And if I was to call that contact by tapping on it, pull on the stylus, create a note, and then go through and uh, create a note of that conversation. Okay, and then that was about it on the phone application. Pretty much it's the standard what you've seen on Windows Mobile 6 professional devices. Uh, it is kind of a nice size keypad uh, to enter data or enter your phone number. Now let's take a look at um, text input. So let's go ahead and go to notes. As you can see there's my Alaska notes that I was just taking actually. So let me go to uh, whoops. Okay here we go. So, if I tap on this, I can see there's some different settings here. If it says touch input settings, if I was to tap on that, there are some settings here for the touch input, spell correction, word completion, T9, ABC, anti-substitution. Let's go ahead and back out of there. And English is my selected one. I'll go through the, I'll go through the different keypads available. Here's the phone keypad. As you can see, it's the phone keypad, one through nine, with the zero and the two other buttons. There's a nice toggle here for ABC or T9, which I really like because sometimes T9 just doesn't work for you. Um, you got some options here, which is your standard keyboard, uh, keyboard options, word completion, your options for recording, that kind of thing. And if I tap on the symbol button, I see there's 13 different options in the phone keypad option for different symbols okay you also tap one two three go back to a standard one two three go back to ABC now let's take a look at the next one which is a compact QWERTY they call it and here is kind of a sure type of a QWERTY keyboard with two letters per each key uh, always also ABC and T9 and we also have here the symbol and again the 13 different pages or the numbers or back to ABC for the compact keypad. Now let's go to the full QWERTY keyboard pad that's included. As you can see it's a full QWERTY and as you type on it the letter actually pops out. Make sure you hit the right letter. Okay and there's a shift caps one caps key. There's also um, ABC or T9 as you can see it was on T9, it was showing me as I started to type, it was trying to predict. If I go to the standard ABC as I type, it doesn't do anything like that. Okay, there's also a 1, 2, 3 key, and on this one there's nine different ones. So I can scroll through and you see the nine different symbols and keys, which are plenty of things, just about anything you can think of for symbols. Now, moving on to text entry, there's also the standard keypad, keyboard that comes in Windows Mobile. Actually, it's quite small. Good for the stylus, not really good for your finger. There's also other input methods, 
which we go to block recognizer, the keyboard which we just saw, letter recognizer, and transcriber. And I haven't really played with much of those, but I need to play more with the transcriber. I personally prefer either the compact or the full QWERTY for right now until I really get used to some of the other input methods. And 